Okay, lights. Hello. 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 Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you for letting me sit on this bench with you, Stuart. No worries. No worries. It's a nice bench, isn't it? It's it's quite nice. Although I, I believe it would leave you with holes in your skin after a while. But, you know. Okay. All your jeans. You give some. Take some. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. So um, we haven't really heard much of you in the UK. Just getting started. Just getting started. But you know, you've got a massive MySpace following. Huge in Canada. Have this award, have that award. <laughs> do, you, do you know Best New Artist? Um, yeah, yeah, last that's, year. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, so why haven't we heard of you? What's the deal? Well, I mean, it takes some time. I mean, well, I, I'm only talking for my own career here, but it takes some time to get overseas. I mean, you, especially with the way I'm working, where it's just really like, um, just keeping it low key as okay. I go along, you know, doing lots of small venues and stuff. Um, so I started in Canada that way, and then moved into the States, and it's in there, and then this is the year that I bring it over here. I actually came over here the, for the last, for the first time last year for like a festival called Give It A Name in Tribune Street. So I was kind of in on that for the first time over here and then came back for V-Fest last year just slowly like little sparks off Yeah, everywhere. you get a good reception? Starting to and then um, record came out here May 17th so like a couple weeks ago, barely even a couple yeah. weeks ago. So it's the so listening, it's starting, right? Yeah and, yeah, and I mean even though it's been out in North America since last fall, just starting to come out here, um, I'm hearing, you know, via Twitter and everything that I started to play on UK music channels and stuff, some of my music videos. So it's kind of exciting seeing it all kind of start to happen and, and we just, I mean, tomorrow's going to be the last day of our first headliner here. Sad, but we're, you know, it's exciting because um, people come to the shows. Yeah, you know, yeah. like anywhere from like 100 kids to 250 kids uh, yeah. coming to the shows. All kids? What? Well, well, not kids, yeah, kids, yeah, showgoers, yeah. showgoers, Dudes, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I call them kids all the time, but. So you're getting a good reception. It seems to be pretty good, yeah. Wicked. So people who haven't heard of you, how would you describe light? Um, I think most simply put, my music's electro pop. But I always, yeah. I always make make notable mention of the fact that I write my songs to be sung along. They're meant to be sung along. Okay. So they're very anthemic, and like half of the song you should be able to, to a good degree, know how to sing it at that point. Yeah. So is that from you? Do you like? music you can sing along to? I do, I do. I'm, I've always liked it and I've always liked uh, something moderately catchy but but minus the cheesy aspect. Yeah. So that yeah. you know you can sing along with it and have a really great time because I mean even especially at a show you go to a show and if you don't know the words you can't sing along you just can't get into it as much. Exactly. So it's exactly. a lot more fun to be able to get into it right away and just feel like you're part of the show and that's what, that's one of the things I think about when I play. Wicked. So um, you use, use a lot of like hyped costumes in your videos and that and shiny you know sci-fi-esque type you know, like, things. That was, that was the first couple of videos I made it was very much of the time that I had an EP out before the, the record yeah and then the, the latest three videos are more moved towards them sort of like a more flowing like kind of like tough um, Manly. Laura Croft man, no, Manly. <laughs> like Laura Croft like ass-kicking girl Okay. So moving moving away from the intergalactic space princess kind of there okay. was a time for that but that's kind of is that past? Kind of, but yeah, but you can still see them on yeah. the So are you in are you into comics and that? I am a, a big comic. Yeah. Fan. What what's your what's your comic well, at think, the moment? Well, I collect Wonder Woman. I have for a very long time. Awesome. Um, I'm I'm a big fan of like vintage sci-fi and then horror comics as well. Yeah. Um, I actually this is kind of a funny twist on that. I actually had the opportunity to collaborate with Tom Coker from Marvel. No And way. I worked on my own comic series called Captain Light. Are you serious? Yeah, so there's 10 episodes online right now. It's semi-animated. It's on YouTube. It's called Audio Quest. And I've done voiceovers for it. And, it's, it's, and the girl, and she looks like me. Captain Light is kind of like, um, I pose for all the, all the shots, so she looks... So like yeah, it's got half myself. animated, so it's, it's yeah. you, and is it who you want to be? Kind of. Kind I'm like of living right? vicariously through Captain Light. Yeah. Kind of like, <laughs> and she's, she's a... Uh, Kind of the idea that she lives in this in this universe that is based off of music, and she's trying to save um, uh, the universe basically from being muted Bad by music. this evil. <laughs> well, from being muted by like evil Lotar, and, and you see like a race of aliens that their sound has been taken away from, and they're all decrepit and like um, very depressed. Yeah, I so can imagine you. She would brings be. life facts. Remember you? Oh, music. what a lovely super. <laughs> it's a little cheesy, that but it's be. amazing. Yeah, that's cool. So if you if you could be any super person who would it be and you can't say superman he's mine oh well yeah. i'm not a man sorry, okay so that would be oh. hard. but i would say is it in terms of superpower or like a superhero either or what what would be your ultimate superpower i i, I mean i think <laughs> what tits what do you want to it's x-ray vision isn't it <laughs> so, uh, hypersonic manipulation abilities <laughs> and that 
That Explain. is uh, C, re refer to Silver Swan. Um, she's actually kind of a villain, but she is able to let out the screech and like and like uh, control the people around. Um, I wouldn't want it to be so abrasive. I would want it to be more, more positive. Yeah. You know? <laughs> more positive mm, yeah. cause. Um, you're playing Lilith Fair, right? Yeah, Coming Lilith Fair. Lilith Fair it is. It's like the women only festival. It's, it's kind of um, something something I'm really looking forward to yeah. because, I mean, as a woman in the industry, you are a minority to a certain degree. And to be in a festival where you're not the minority yeah. will be a first for me. And I'm going to be able to watch some of the most legendary women in music. You know, Loretta Lynn and the Blue Harris. There's a lot of women that I want to learn from. So I'm 50% indulgently, I'm going to go and, and uh, you know, be encouraged yeah. to a certain degree. And then um, also just to be part of that one. Is so, so being removed from that and, and being in a, a boy-dominated industry, um, would you say it's hard to kind of be an up-and-coming, um, attractive kind of, <laughs> oh, no, I make you it. blush. <laughs> would, would you say it's difficult to be taken seriously or do you not think about that? Do you just do your thing? And you know, before I got into the industry um, more, more publicly, I guess, I didn't think about it. But once I started getting into it, you notice, oh wow, like there is some discrimination against girls. There is some uh, stresses of being one of the few. Yeah. And um, at first I would get kind of defensive and get snappy at people that didn't think I knew what I was doing. Because yeah. a lot of the time, I mean, you go to a venue and um, some some of the crew guys or whatever try to take down your keyboard or something. It's like, you're doing that, like, I can do it, I can take care of it, don't yeah. worry about yeah. it. And they're like, no. I'm like, I know what I'm doing. And so after the set, you know, when they see that you've proven yourself to be a valid musician and, yeah. and know what you're doing, there's something to be said for, um, you know, being able to prove yourself to somebody who doubted you yeah. before. And, and, and I've learned to take it that way instead of being aggressive about it, yes. which is, of course, it should have been a given. But, um, uh, it, it, feels, it feels good to just play with integrity and then at the end see that you've changed somebody's mind. Cool. Well, um, thank you very much for coming and joining me on my lovely game. Thank you. Um, did you play Bristol? You played Bristol yesterday. What's that? You played Bristol. Yeah, we played Bristol yesterday and we're about to do our set here. Yeah, well, good luck with that. Thanks thank very much. Thank you very much. <laughs>